The CDC released data on nationwide overdose fatality trends this week. The number actually decreased. The White House says in 2020, overdose deaths were increasing by 31% year over year. But as of June of this year, reported fatalities declined by 14.5% year to year. That's 16,000 fewer deaths in the last year alone. And while those lower numbers are good news, advocates say way too many people are still losing their lives to substance use disorder. NBC5's James Maloney has more about how the town of Hartford is addressing the situation there. I think as a group we've recognized it's, uh, that we have lots of different issues. First responders in Hartford handling three overdose cases in the downtown area, all in a 24-hour span this week. Chief Scott Cooney explains the standard procedures in these situations. They encounter an unconscious, uh, unresponsive patient. They do the standard practices within the state, uh, EMS protocols, would be to you know assess airway, breathing, circulation, and determine if uh, uh, Narcan or something like that would need to be deployed. Cooney says Narcan was used to treat all three patients and they were transported to Dartmouth Hitchcock Medical Center. Hartford Town Health Officer Brett Mayfield says the town is well equipped to deal with these overdose situations. We have a number uh, of drug treatment centers uh, located here in uh, the town of Hartford. Um, there's the Haven, uh, which uh, looks at people's homelessness, uh, food uh, security, uh, and does give guidance uh, for people uh, to get into treatment. New data shows a downward trend in overdose nationwide and in our region. The Vermont Health Department says 141 fatal overdoses have been reported in the state as of September of this year. The highest number, 244, was recorded during the pandemic in 2022. The significance is that we're seeing the first decline in in, in deaths and lives lost uh, since 2019, since pre-pandemic times. Um, and, and that is good news. We're, unfortunately, though, the numbers are still high. They're still higher than they were before the pandemic. Mary Fafford with the Vermont Department of Health says she speaks for everyone and hopes that the numbers continue to drop. Every number that we're talking about here today is an individual with families and loved ones who are grieving still. Um, so we want to see that continue to decline. In Hartford, James Maloney, NBC5 News.